What's up guys, Crispy Beats here. Today we're gonna talk about vintage tape delay. Check it out. There are various pros and cons of using a DAW over hardware. Some of these advantages include the versatility, the infinite options, and of course, the quick workflow. However, there is one really big disadvantage and that's a characteristic sound. Let me give you an example. If I sample something into Ableton and use a simpler, yeah, I can chop it up, I can pitch it as much as I want, I can warp it really easily. But once I've done all that, it doesn't have the characteristic sound and punch of, for example, an old MPC. In the same way, if I record my guitar straight into Ableton, yeah, I've got lots of VSTs and amp simulators to get the exact sound I want but it's never really going to sound the same as hooking it up to a tube amp and miking up the amp and getting that raw throaty sound that an amp delivers. Now today specifically I want to talk about delay. The Ableton stock delay is super versatile and flexible, has a really clean sound and allows for a lot of creativity. However, I personally seem to have a fetish for old vintage sounds and particularly old tape delay. The kind of sound you hear in like 60s and 70s records from the Beatles and Pink Floyd, Led Zeppelin. And recently I came across a plugin that imitates that sound perfectly. That's the Martinic LEM Tape Echo Delay. Before we get into the itty gritty of the plugin, I just want to say that this video is not sponsored by Martinic. I'm not being paid to do this video. I just really like the company, their plugins, and particularly this Tape Echo Delay. Let's get into it. Okay, so first of all, I've penciled in a little piano melody that we're going to use to experiment with this plugin. So I'm going to show you that real quick. This is without the plugin. Right, so straight off the bat, we can already see that the artwork on this plugin is beautiful. I personally really like it when plugins have nice artwork, because it's always a bit inspiring and feels more like you're using an instrument rather than just a 2D drawing of a piano or something. So let's dive into some of the settings. When we switch it on, you can see that there's a little light that comes on on the volume meter here. And the three settings there, one, two, and three, are the three different speeds of the echo. So if I go with number one, Really, really quick echo. Number two, slightly slower. And number three, that's the slowest one. I think it's 80 milliseconds, 210 milliseconds, and 330 milliseconds. So just like the original LEM echo unit. The two sliders on the right and left hand side of the plugin are the volumes of the left and right side of the stereo field. So if I go and play about with those, you get pretty cool sounds. We then have a two channel mixer so that we can control bass and treble options on both the left and right hand side of the stereo field. And down the bottom there of the plugin we have the classic delay settings, so amount of repeats and the mix of a dry white signal. So maybe I'll just play about with the plugin a bit and we'll listen to some sounds as I go along. Just hear how authentic the tape sounds, how warm it is, how organic and natural it sounds. In my opinion, it's just a beautiful sound. So while we're here, might as well turn this into a little beat. So I'm gonna add some drums, some bass, and maybe some more melodies.
guys, you saw the plugin, you heard the sounds. If you liked it, you can check it out at the link below and you'll definitely be hearing it on my upcoming beats. Other than that, thank you so much for stopping by. Really means a lot. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And more importantly, don't forget to have a great Sunday. Till next week, peace. Thank you.